Hi, this is a brief tutorial to go through area and perimeter and just define what those are. Um, so uh, during your functional skills test you will have um, some questions that come up in regards to area and perimeter and you do need to know the difference between the two. Now generally the best way to look at it is area is basically the if we take this rectangle for example area would be the the area inside this rectangle um, and the space that that covers perimeter is the outside so the the lines along here and the the um, length of that combined um, a good way to remember it is just thinking of a perimeter fence so if you put a fence around the outside of something whereas the area is what's inside um, so if you think of a garden uh, taking over taking up a certain amount of space inside the garden and then the fence is going around that's the perimeter um, so with the perimeter you are adding all the sides together and with area you are timesing the length by the width and then you're getting the answer in centimetres or metres squared. Um, something that you do need to know in this task is basically measurements and uh, millimetres, how many millimetres in a metre, how many centimetres in a metre, and how that works out and how to work those out and convert them either way. So if you just take a, an example here, so this is an example of something that you might get so you may get a scenario where this is a garden or a swimming pool or whatever it may be in the exam um, now the measurements are given to you in millimeters as you can see here so it's 3,000 millimetres by 4,000 millimetres. Now in order to work out this task you can just work it out as it is. So for area you would do 3,000 times 4,000 and you would get your answer. You'd get that answer in millimetres. Now probably the best way to work this out is to com first to convert those measurements into metres. Now, as I said, you need to know how many millimetres are in a metre. Um, and that answer is a thousand. So there's a... So once you know the conversion rate, the next thing to do is to use that answer to convert into metres. So if I get a calculator up, and obviously you're allowed to use a calculator in the exam, I'm going to take 3000 which is this measurement here and because there's a thousand millimeters in a meter I'm going to divide by a thousand and there you can see it's I've got three so I know now that side is three meters And then if I just do the other side as well, so it's 4,000 this time for this measurement here, divided by 1,000, I'm going to get 4. So essentially what I'm doing is 3 metres times 4 metres, and then whatever the answer is, is basically the space covered inside this rectangle here. So if I just put that in, 3 times 4, 12. So the answer is then written down and you do need to include your working out when working this out so if you've done those calculations do write them in into a, the box that's provided for your working out. Um, so it's going to be 3 times 4, and this is, sorry, in metres, equals 12 metres. And there's just a little 2 that you add on 
at the end there and that implies that it's meters squared so whenever you're doing area you do need to add on that tiny little two on there to imply that it's squared meters or squared centimeters or squared millimeters whichever measurement you happen to be using and that's how you cover area now if we go back and just look at perimeter again like I said perimeter is the outside and what you'll be covering here is basically the outside of the shape and how long that is so what I want to do is add this side this side this side and this side together and then I'll get my answer again I so we're just adding all the sides together and then seeing what that amounts to so we can go about it the same way in that we are first converting into meters so again we'll do 3000 divided by a thousand which we got three for that and this side was 4,000 millimeters and we did 4,000 divided by a thousand and obviously we got four so if I just write those in so this side was three meters and this side was four meters now because it's a rectangle we know that this side and this side are the same and this side and this side are the same so basically that's that side is three meters so this side is three meters and this side is four meters so this side is four meters too so that means our calculation is going to be three plus three plus four plus four okay Now you've always got access to a calculator so do use it, I know these are calculations that you can just work out. Also you do want to write these in into your working out box just so the examiner or the person marking your exam can see how you've come to your conclusion and you will be marked um, and be given marks for those answers. So there you can see we've got 14 and of course because we converted into meters we can just add in the m for meters there um, because this is length and not squared meters we don't add the little two on the end that would indicate that it's squared meters so your answer for perimeter is always just going to be um, in meters millimeters or centimeters without the squared on the end So just to recap with area and perimeter, area is the inside of a shape and basically you work that out by timesing the length and the width and the perimeter is the outside of the shape and you can calculate that by adding the length and the width together, basically adding all the sides together.